Hello and what's up Madlang people? Um, hope everyone is okay. By the way, this is an introduction to uh, what I call um, setting up a multi-effects pedal uh, 101. So it's like a lot of you are asking me about patches and um, like tone of certain artists or bands. So I've decided I'm going to make a video on how I manage to make or emulate the sound of certain artists so that you can do it on your own guys. So I will share to you uh, based on my experience and knowledge on how I sort of uh, get the idea in setting up my multi-effects pedal. But we will start with the very basic, which is what sort of gear um, you need to have. And for those who are new and haven't got their gear yet and um, wanting to uh, join the bandwagon of the guitarists, so uh, I'll share to you the very basic, which are the gear that you need to have. Right, so much for the introduction. Let's crack on. So the first thing that you need to have, obviously, is your guitar. So I got here my uh, Lion by Washburn, which is my first guitar when I came to England. Okay. Um, so you need to decide which guitar you wanted because your guitar already got its own characteristic, its own tone. If you want to sound uh, like your uh, musical influences, uh, artist or band, you need to study their gear. So if they're more of a strat player, then you buy a strat type or a strat copy guitar. If they're more of a humbucker person, you might want to buy an SG guitar or SG copy, a Les Paul guitar or other guitars that got humbuckers. Also, another thing to consider is the scale length because uh, the tone is uh, mostly based on the scale length of your guitar. Les Paul sounds Les Paul because of the scale length of Les Paul. Strat sounds like Strat because of the scale length of Strat guitar. So that's very important. The other thing is the frets, number of frets. Most Strat guitar are 21 frets and uh, um, modern uh, strut type guitars are 22. Most Les Pauls are 22 frets and the Ibanez and other like shred type guitars are 24 frets. So you need to decide as well with that one. And then the number of strings, there's seven strings, eight strings guitar. So the list goes on. Um, Right, I hope we're clear on that matter. So you need to decide which guitar you wanted because there's no point asking someone to copy uh, Slash, for example, and then you're playing a Strat guitar because the tone of Strat or the scale length of Strat is different from the Les Paul which Slash is using. Okay, take note of that one. Next is your amp. Right. Okay, this is my practice amp. It's Park and it's um, designed by Marshall Amplification PLC. So it's like a Marshall amp. Um, there are loads of amp types and it's very important as well. It's the same as the guitar. Um, the amplifiers um, got their own tone, got their own sound. Vox sounds Vox because of trademark that it's Vox. Marshall sounds Marshall because it's manufactured, designed, engineered by Marshall people. You got Fender, it sounds Fender, and the list goes on, okay? So you need to also decide which amp you're going to use. But with multi-effects, there's what you call amp simulation or cab sim as well. So it's not a big problem with your amplifier because they can emulate or simulate a sound of certain amps 
and we'll go there but the basic is you need to have your guitar and you need to have your amplifier right in between your guitar and your amplifier is your effects pedal now some amplifiers got already um, effects and all you need to have is your foot switch this is an improvised DIY foot switch that I built I'll put a link on how I built this one just in case you got uh, an amp with um, built-in effects okay and all you need is a foot switch if you can't afford to buy a separate foot switch okay <laughs> having said that um, another thing with amp is the reverb my amp doesn't have reverb I got a pedal reverb pedal but if your amp got reverb then you're safe because you don't need to buy the effects pedal or if you want a separate reverb pedal apart from the amp uh, reverb then it's fine because you can tweak this to a different sound in addition to your uh, own reverb on the amp okay so reverb is important as well um, i'm just gonna share to you my first effects pedal and it's the ds1 distortion pedal by boss this one is like a tank it will last forever it's, it's a bit expensive but it will last forever i survived doing gigs with just one pedal before um i got a review of this one as well so i'll put the link and even the reverb pedal i get that one so i'll just put links if you're interested on the, the effects pedal that i'm showing to you right so your guitar now goes to the input comes out and goes to your amp and then if your amp got eq and reverb then you can adjust those okay so those are the important things guitar your single stomp box effects pedal and then it goes to your amp tweak with your eq and tweak your reverb and then you still got the disc the level and the tone here so you can adjust that so that's the concept of uh, our our sound um with just this three setup guitar effects pedal amplifier you can already get sounds that you like so this one paired with a good amp with a nice reverb you can already copy some of your favorite guitar players okay right I still got two more pedals here. I'm just gonna show it to you. So I got this um, Cube um, Overdrive Blues. This is like a boost pedal or an overdrive pedal, which if your amp is a tube amp or even a, a regular uh, combo amp, it, this will still help push the gain of your amp. And then another important effects pedal is your delay pedal. So I got Q wave delay. Um, function of your delay pedal is when you do guitar solo and you add a delay apart from the reverb, some people like blues player with low gain love reverb pedal. Those um, solo that's like really floats and sustain more this will be your answer you need a delay pedal okay so now if we are going to review guitar needs to go to oh before i forget another important tuner i got a review of this tuner as well uh, it's a clip on tuner but it's an old school type you can just put it on the table and then it's got microphone if you're got an acoustic guitar um, you can tune your guitar with this one or you can use as clip on but anyway tuner if you don't have the if you don't opt for a clip on tuner there's a tuner that is a pedal type so guitar goes to your tuner tuner goes to your drive and then drive pushes your distortion and then you got modulation i don't have a modulation pedal at the moment i'm just a poor boy 
Alright, you got chorus, phaser, flanger. Those are your modulation. Yeah, just take note of that one. Um, that's our settings or our, our sort of setup. Now let's move on to wires. You need two cables. For example, this one is from your guitar going to your effects pedal. And then the out goes to your amp. Effects pedal like this can be powered either your DC or your battery. Battery compartment. Again, I got a re review of this, a demo of this. I, um, I'll just put a link. But an essential um, part is your power supply. This is a generic daisy chain, meaning I can put loads of pedals using this one. Right. Now, with my first effects pedal here in the UK, it's the Digitech RP55. Uh, I got demo of this one, review of this one. So I'll just put a link again about this pedal. But what's nice about this pedal is that it's cheap. And then those pedals that I said earlier that you needed is here already. Okay. In, in the demo, I've discussed in detail about this one. And you need a power supply for this or battery. This is the battery compartment. Right, if we just quickly run through with this one. Th this one got a built-in tuner, so you don't need to buy a separate tuner. Um, it's got pickup and wah selector, first one. Compressor, yeah, I forgot to mention. It's a very, very good effects pedal as well, compressor. Then it's got amp model which will be your uh, amp simulation, but also will double as your distortion or overdrive. It, de it depends on how you tweak the gain level or the disc level on that amp uh, simulation. Noise gate, which is very essential as well. Sometimes when you're using high gain effects, the noise is also heightened. So this will tame the noise, uh, noise gate. EQ which I said you can tweak the EQ from your amp, but your pedal got its tone or EQ control. Uh, next is your modulation. So you got chorus, flanger, phaser, etc. Delay and then reverb. So it's the same as what are set up. That's why I really recommend this for beginners because it's easy to tweak and you don't need to uh, rearrange the pedal. It's there in sequence, okay? And then the drum pattern, the tempo level. So the last bit is about the drum machine. Okay, so it's it's clear now. Um, input, then you got tuner here. You got pickup or wah, and etc. It's 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 quite easy. I'll just put a link about this one. Then output goes to your amplifier. Then, um, I swap pedal to this one there were in between uh, pedal but let's jump to this one the zoom g1x on there's also zoom g1 on so minus the pedal it will look the same as this one just up and down pedal um, foot switch and no wah uh, control or expression pedal so this one is, is not there just that one um, the good thing about this pedal and we will focus more on this Zoom G1X on in our coming uh, sessions is that you can rearrange your effects. You've got the amp sim and at the same time you got the effects which corresponds to like a single stump box. Unlike with this one, they just put it as amp sim and they don't have the pedal or the effects pedal. So this is a lot better. It's got the um, drum machine and looper. This one doesn't have looper, only drum machine. The trouble with this one is if you change uh, sound, like for example, you're on patch one, and then you move to a patch two as your distortion, your clean is patch one. The drum machine stops and start again when you change. So it's not good. 
um, I think the drum machine is there just to maintain your tempo and um, like a click, like a metronome for you. But this one doesn't, so you can keep changing effects and the drums will just continue. Another thing with this one, there's a bit of delay. I would say this is more real time when you're changing patches. This one, I think is becoming obsolete. They're facing out this Zoom G1X on. So for those of you who are new uh, into setting up your gear or first time to buy an effects pedal or set up your rig, your guitar amp and your effects pedal, you might not be able to f buy a brand new of this one because it's now been taken out of uh, the market, I think. But the replacement is the Zoom G14 and the one with uh, expression pedal is Zoom G1X4. Right, we almost covered everything. Um, yeah, I think we've covered everything, guys. Um, on our succeeding um, sessions or lessons, I will sort of explain to you uh, like the effects that we needed for a certain artist and the amp that we chose so we will not be using an actual amp we will be using an amp sim but i will try my best to get a picture of the amp that we are copying or i will say this is the comparable amp to the amp sim that we're using so that you can just uh, search it and that's how i um, tweak and make my patches guys it's quite simple so I choose the guitar that will sound the same as that artist I choose the effects pedal that the artist is using and then I choose the amp that that artist is also using so that it's easy for me and then if it didn't work for some reason because I'm using a different guitar I compensate it with a different amp or with a different effects pedal or add some more like for example I needed an EQ an extra EQ to boost the the bass or the sound of the guitar and I'll include that in my effect chain so thank you for watching guys and for those of you who are new to my channel welcome and please subscribe uh, hit that notification bell so that you get notified each time I'm posting new videos um, God bless, good night, and see you again soon. Bye!